The FA-360, also known as BM-120, is an Iranian short-range satellite-guided tactical ballistic missile announced on the Islamic Republic of Iran Army Day, April 18, 2022. Developed by the Aerospace Industries Organization, the missile represents Iran's continued push to enhance its precision strike capabilities and asymmetric warfare doctrine. Given Iran's historical reliance on missile technology as a deterrent against regional and global adversaries, the FA-360 serves as an important addition to the country's growing missile arsenal. Iran's ballistic missile development program has evolved over decades, with the FA-360 serving as a modern iteration of the FATA series short-range ballistic missiles. First revealed in 2020 and formally introduced in 2022, the missile quickly gained prominence due to its advanced satellite-guided targeting system and high-speed attack capabilities. On August 10, 2024, Reuters reported that Russian soldiers were being trained in Iran to operate the FA-360. This followed an alleged contract between Iran and Russia, signed on December 13, 2023, which facilitated the transfer of missiles to Moscow. By September 4, 2024, reports emerged that Russia had officially received a shipment of FA-360 missiles. Given the missile's mobility and precision, it is likely being used in Ukraine to strike key military targets, logistical hubs, and infrastructure. The shipment of these missiles to Russia highlights a deeper military partnership between Tehran and Moscow, particularly in the face of Western opposition. Iran has already supplied Russia with significant quantities of Shahed-136 Kamikaze drones, which have been extensively used to target Ukrainian infrastructure. The transfer of ballistic missiles represents an escalation in Iran's involvement in the conflict, marking one of the most significant arms transfers between the two nations. The FA-360 is a lightweight and compact SRBM that shares many design similarities with the Fateh 110 series, but is significantly smaller. This reduction in size allows multiple missiles to be mounted on a single truck-based transporter erector launcher, enhancing its battlefield utility and effectiveness. The missile can be launched in rapid succession, making it similar in function to the U.S. M142 HIMARS and Russia's Tornado S multiple launch rocket systems. With an operational range of 30 to 120 kilometers, the FA-360 carries a 150 kilograms high explosive warhead. The missile achieves launch speeds of Mach 3 and accelerates to Mach 4 when approaching its target. The primary guidance system utilizes a global navigation satellite system, believed to include GLONASS compatibility, supplemented by an inertial navigation system. This combination allows for high precision with a circular error probable estimated at around 30 meters, making it suitable for striking enemy air defenses, command centers, and troop concentrations. The FA-360 is fired from a truck-mounted TL equipped with multiple round launch containers. These containers can hold two, three, four, or six missiles, allowing for rapid fire salvos. This flexibility enables Iranian forces to conduct coordinated missile strikes on key enemy positions while minimizing exposure to counter-battery fire. The TL's mobility also allows for quick redeployment after launch, reducing the risk of being targeted by enemy air and artillery forces. Iran has emphasized the importance of mobile missile systems in its defensive doctrine. Unlike silo-based or fixed-platform missile launchers, mobile TLs provide a significant advantage in terms of survivability and strategic unpredictability. This capability aligns with Iran's broader asymmetric warfare strategy, which relies on fast-moving, dispersed units that can strike adversaries without being easily neutralized. Iran has long relied on ballistic missiles as a core component of its military strategy, particularly as a deterrent against adversaries such as Israel, the United States, and Gulf Cooperation Council states. The FA-360 plays a crucial role in Iran's evolving warfare doctrine by offering a more precise and rapid-response missile system for short-range engagements. 
This missile fits within Iran's broader strategy of developing advanced precision strike capabilities to compensate for its relative weaknesses in air power. Iran lacks a modern air force capable of contesting the skies with Western or regional powers, making its missile forces an essential aspect of its deterrence strategy. The introduction of the Fath 360 enhances Iran's ability to conduct quick retaliatory strikes against military installations, airbases, and enemy troop concentrations. Additionally, the Fath 360 complements Iran's increasing investment in drone warfare. By integrating ballistic missile and drone capabilities, Iran can execute complex multi-domain attacks that overwhelm enemy defenses. The combination of precision-guided missiles and kamikaze drones provides Iranian forces with an effective means to strike high-value targets while minimizing exposure to countermeasures. Compared to its regional counterparts, the Fath 360 exhibits characteristics that make it a formidable short-range weapon. In contrast to Israel's LoRa missile, which has a longer range of up to 400 kilometers, the Fath 360 prioritizes high-speed targeting over extended reach. While Saudi Arabia's DF-21 and UAE's ATAC-M S-Class missiles have superior ranges, Iran's missile compensates with greater deployability and firepower concentration due to its mobile launch platform. When compared to Turkey's TRG-300 Kaplan missile, the Fath 360 shares similarities in payload and range, but benefits from Iran's strategic integration of satellite navigation and multiple launch capabilities. Additionally, Iran's missile development program remains independent, whereas some of its regional competitors rely on foreign partnerships for procurement and technology transfer. The Fath 360's role in Iran's military and its transfer to Russia suggests that Tehran is expanding its missile diplomacy, using arms sales as a means of deepening strategic alliances. If proven effective in Ukraine, the missile could attract interest from other states seeking affordable precision strike capabilities. Iran's willingness to export these missiles also raises concerns about their potential proliferation, especially to non-state actors aligned with Iranian interests. For Iran, the continued advancement of its ballistic missile program is a priority, as evidenced by ongoing tests and upgrades to the Fatah series. Future iterations of the Fath 360 may include improved guidance systems, enhanced warhead options, and extended ranges. These improvements would further solidify Iran's position as one of the leading missile producers in the region. The Fath 360 represents a significant step forward in Iran's missile capabilities, offering a mobile, high-speed, and precision-guided system suited for modern conflicts. Its recent deployment to Russia underscores its battlefield value and the geopolitical ramifications of Iran's growing missile trade. As conflicts in Ukraine and the Middle East continue to evolve, the role of Iranian missile technology in shaping regional and global security landscapes will remain a critical area of observation. Whether used defensively or offensively, the Fath 360 exemplifies Iran's strategic shift toward precision-guided warfare reinforcing its doctrine of deterrence and rapid response capabilities.